It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Adnams Brewery and it's a bottle of their Cabold English Lager. It's coming in at 4.7% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. There's a look at it. Looks very nice. There's the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Fancy a lager today. I'd rather than bottle caps. Just now, that wouldn't want to shut up. You know when they bounce around on the floor and you're like, come on, stop making that noise. <laughs> right, here we go. So it was really interesting. If you missed it, just last week, I interviewed the head brewer, Fergus Fitzgerald of Adnams Brewery. As of, I mean, you might be watching this video in five years time and the whole world might have changed by then. Uh, this video has been recorded uh, the 15th of December, 2020. So mid, mid December. Um, but yeah, just as of, of last week, we, we interviewed the head brewer of, of, of Adnams Brewery. We were talking about this very beer. We did a live kind of tasting with it. And it was really interesting, his explanation as to why they use the Adnams yeast. And I think it was a very good explanation because it's a very good idea. If you have your own yeast strain in-house, um, if you can kind of identify that as something that, that will work with a lager, lager, then why not? Why not use your, your own yeast? So um, Fergus was explaining that, that this style of lager will probably be um, going along the lines of a Kolsch style lager. So almost a ale lager hybrid. That's what a Kolsch style beer is. And it's exactly the same as what we have here. Um, it's an ale yeast that they've used to brew a lager. Uh, we've got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. See, I think we got a little bit of unfiltered haze. Yeah, we definitely got a little bit of unfiltered haze going on. Uh, let's get the aroma. Mm. Yeah, you definitely get... You get some Pilsner malts. You get some From what I can pick up as a guess, you're picking up some Saz hops. And you definitely get that kind of fruity, estery kind of yeast aroma to it. It smells very good. Let's let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Whoa. Oof, my fridge is cold. Blimey, wow. That woke me up. Wow, that's cold. As all laggers should be. As all laggers should be. Maybe a touch too cold because I love to pick up flavors in the beer this might be a touch too cold but if you're the lager drinker that loves a freezing cold lager then it still fits you still get the malt you still get a little bit of that yeast you get the from what I, I'm going to stick with it until I read the back of the label um, I should know I only interviewed at Fergus last week but I'm going to guess on Saz hops a spicy Saz hop with this beer Very nice. Very nice. I think every good brewery, whether they're large brewery, medium-sized brewery, small brewery, I think every brewery these days look to produce a really good lager. 
especially with what's going around the corner in 2021. I don't want this to sound like any kind of political message or anything like that, but it looks like as of the 15th of December, where we are right now today, it looks like we're going to crash out of the European Union. And I've already spoke to some brewers and it's going to be, it's going to be very, very difficult to pick up um, certain beers, certain styles of beer. I mean, I mean, who's to say that we can get Czech Pilsner going forward? This is not me scaremongering. Um, it's not, I would, I would never dream of doing that. Um, but I think what, what, by speaking to a couple of brewers that they've said, well, we, we now produce our own lager because of the uncertainty going forward. At least, I mean, if the lager drinker wants to drink a lager, then we have a lager readily available for them. And I think you know, that's one of the reasons why I think we're starting to see a lot more laggers in the UK at the moment from a lot of different breweries. The other reason is probably quality. Probably quality. This is a really good quality lager. I'm very lucky. I have a case of it sent by Adnams. And this is the type of beer... You relax with on a Sunday afternoon. I love a Sunday afternoon drink. I always have. Get the dinner on. Get the beef field, the chicken in the oven. And then just do a bit of cooking with a couple of beers, with a few beers. Um, it's what I like to do. It's what I like to do. And this is the perfect kind of Sunday dinner, Sunday afternoon drink, beer. It's got a lovely balance between the the light crisp malts and the hops on the back end. Uh, what do what do Adnam say about this beer then? Uh, clean, crisp, and bracingly refreshing. Our premium English lager takes its name from the legendary Kobold, a water spirit who protects North Sea sailors, inspired by its namesake. Kobold helps protect our precious seas and coastline by partnering with Blue Marine Foundation. There we go, there we go, that's a look at the beer then. So um, yeah, I mean, if you can see this, if you do see this in the supermarkets, if you see it out and about, I've seen it a lot online, to be honest. Um, certainly LinkedIn, whenever I go on LinkedIn, I seem to see this cabold English lager advert. And I was like, oh, you know, it's funny with adverts, they just stick in your mind. And, and since I seen it, I was like, I've got to review that beer i got to review that beer. So I have. I've, I've reviewed the beer. Let's rate it. I like it. It's clean and crisp as every good lager should be. Um, where's the ingredients? Did we get the hops in here? Just the hops. In. I'm, I'm pretty sure Fergus... I'm pretty sure he said Sars hops. Or I guess Sars hops last week. Um, but it's a lovely beer. Clean, crisp, refreshing. Very tasty. I like that enough to give it a 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!